All right, how to install an SSD or solid state drive on your HP Omen 25L and replace the slow stock Seagate HDD or hard disk drive. You're gonna need to buy an SSD of course, but also this Corsair 3.5 to 2.5 converter. Let's get started. So for the HP Omen 25L, your hard disks will be located in one of these two slots. But before we remove anything, step one is shutting down the computer, as well as unplugging the power supply in the back. Next, you will pop off the side panel by pressing the internal access square inwards. It's located in the back of the Omen. Once you have the side panel removed, locate your hard drive in the one of two slots and unplug the two SATA connectors connected to it. You can see I'm having a hard time, but with two hands it should be easier. Once those are disconnected, try to keep them out of the way when removing the old hard drive. We don't want them getting damaged. But these two tabs is where you will squeeze slightly and pull the hard drive out. You can see the cables get caught on the drive tray when trying to do this one-handed. Please use two hands. It will be easier holding the cables out of the way with one hand and removing the hard drive with the other. Now that the hard drive is out, you're gonna have to remove it from the hard drive casing. As you can see here, I'm flexing the plastic back. You'll have to flex the plastic off one of the sides in order to slide out the other side. You can see here holes on the side of the hard drive and your SSD will have the same thing. These holes are where the plastic casing attaches to by inserting pegs with rubber grommets. For the SSD, we'll be attaching it with screws to the hard drive casing converter. Once you have the SSD unboxed, you can see the same screw holes as your HDD. Take note of the SATA connection and do a kind of test assembly before attaching the SSD to the Corsair's converter. This converter can actually hold two SSDs, so if you want to add another SSD in the future, you don't need to buy another converter. I'll drop a link to it in the description. Once you've made sure your SATA connection is facing towards the tabs, align the screw holes so they are visible inside the screw bracket. Next, you will screw in the four screws into the bracket. The order doesn't matter, but it's best practice to go in a crisscross matter. I'm using a magnetic Phil Phillips head, but any normal Phillips head should work. However, this tool set has made working on the computer so much easier, so I will link that in the description as well. One thing to note as you're screwing in the screws is if there is a resistance, meaning it feels harder to screw in, unscrew it again and make sure the screw is seated correctly because you definitely do not want to cross thread your SSD screw holes. After that, you will basically do the reverse of taking out the HDD you will slide the converter bracket into one side of the hard disk tray pegs and then flex the other side to slide in the other two pegs into the tray holes. If one of the grommets feel like popping out, you can just push it back in. And there it is, we're ready to slide this into the Omen. Just ensure that the SATA connections are facing the squeeze tabs on the tray. With two hands now making it much easier, we can move the SATA connectors out of the way and slide the tray back into its slot with our brand new SSD. Then we can connect both the SATA connectors. But wait, there's more. You'd think the PC would automatically read your new drive, but unfortunately that's not the case. Once you turn your computer on, there's some additional steps needed for the PC to read your new SSD. Otherwise, you'll see your new SSD as corrupted or unreadable, or it just won't show at all. So with your computer on, here are the final steps. All right, so we're gonna hit that start, and you're gonna type in partition. Click on this create and format hard disk partition. And you're gonna locate the unallocated SSD that you just installed. I got a one terabyte SSD, so that's how many gigs it has. You right click and click on new simple volume. Then hit next. And then hit next again. This is just telling you the drive letter, hit next. And then here you can name your drive. I'm just naming it the brand 
which is Hynix. And then hit next. And then one more next, I promise. And then we just wait for a pop-up. Kazam, we're done. And then to verify, you can click on this PC. And there's the hard drive. Or the SSD. And you're done. You can close these down and that was it. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe if you want or whatever. And uh, see you. Bye.